Hello investors, this is a new video, it's been two months ago, a long while, um, so an update on the state of affairs. I'm here in beautiful Miami, um, I'll just show you a little uh, picture of what I am seeing here. It's an amazing, an amazing view of uh, the skyline of Miami, downtown and then some beautiful islands in front of it a lot of uh, water skiers and uh, boats uh, palm trees and it's really and here in front you have the pool very nice I landed here by accident I uh, I'm traveling through the US uh, for a few months and um, well I might just stay here because I really like it um, I've been promoting a lot of NXT. Uh, I started my trip in the US uh, at Porkfest in New Hampshire and I met a lot of people uh, and I am um, very, very, very um, um, bullish on NXT. Uh, before I did this trip, I saw that the NXT had a lot of technical adva advanced features that, that it's clearly better than Bitcoin, but um, but you know if people don't adopt it it won't happen uh, many technologies in the past have been better uh, than others but still failed and i noticed that in the bitcoin community nobody talks about uh, nxt so that was very frustrating the past half year so that's why i felt um, finally ready oh a little helicopter passing by um to uh to uh get the word out, get, become more active huh? uh, because I used to be just an investor uh, meaning that I would uh, only allocate capital uh, but um, I've, I, I'm changing that I'm becoming more of an entrepreneur where I do not only allocate capital but I also want to make it happen uh, with my energy and uh, time and so um, uh, that's why I went to Porkfest. Now, at Porkfest, I was very, very, um, well, surprised. Uh, one, people really don't know NXT, so that that's, uh, explains also why it is, okay, it's the third largest uh, crypto right now, but it's valued very low compared to Bitcoin, eh? currently 50 million, Bitcoin 8 billion, eh? so that's 130 times less. Eh? Well, it is also 130 times less known than Bitcoin. If you talk with 100 people, um, well, 90 don't have never heard about NXT. Even people, and all of those 100, they know about Bitcoin. Eh? Yet 90 never heard about NXT. Eh? So it is very unknown. But what I really liked to see is that uh, they all like the story. Um, uh, only the people that already know NXT and have some um, and th those are not the common man but more like the Bitcoin celebrities or the freedom community celebrities those they're about let's say not maybe five or ten percent but I think about 30 percent or so they know about NXT but there there is a lot of rejection amongst them it's the common arguments um, um, and uh, uh, so but even they, uh, when you debunk the arguments they come up with, eh, like, yeah, the distribution was not fair, or, uh, or um, the, the, the other criticisms, like, uh, there's nothing at stake, or uh, uh, things like that, um, and then, uh, then they are open to it. But what gives me the most hope is that the, the, the people that do not have um, other interests because I think that's the biggest problem in the Bitcoin uh, amongst the Bitcoin celebrities they have uh, many of those have their own projects going on made safe master coin counterparty uh, LTB coin uh, 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 they all have their own coin basically that they are launching and um, and so they have uh, an even harder time to be open for NXT. But 
uh, amongst the people that do not have their own projects running but are just interested in Bitcoin or have some Bitcoin. Nine in ten really like the story of NXT and want to receive some free NXT when I offer it to them. Uh, they are uh, amazed to hear that you have here uh, uh, that something that's not just a currency, it's also a messaging system, it's also an asset exchange and it looks really nice uh, and it is not vulnerable to a 51% attack. Uh, 9 in 10 says yes to that. So that for me gives a lot of hope that NXT will succeed. I also want to thank the developers because I never talk about them but you have come from beyond and I expressed some criticism towards him because he, he sometimes says strange things but you know that's his full right. Uh, and uh, uh, then you have also, um, uh, what's his name? Of course you have Wesley from the Wesley client you have also, uh, there's another developer, an important one. I, I forgot his name, I'm so sorry. I think it's Paul. Um, uh, and, and, and actually you have a lot of developers around it also. So yeah, um, thank you so much for uh, uh, realizing this project. And, um, um, and so, um, uh, how does my portfolio uh, looks? Um, well, it's now uh, NXT went up, but it went down again. It's now back to 50 million, so five cents a coin. Um, so, and Bitcoin currently is valued at 620 uh, dollars per coin. Uh, so, my portfolio currently is half Bitcoin. Uh, it's about 35% uh, Bitcoin, 35% NXT, and then uh, that's a total of 70. Uh, it's about 75 and then about 20-25% is gold, go, uh, silver, some gold mining stocks also, about 10% of that is gold mining stocks, 10% gold and silver, and a little bit of cash, 5%. So, um, but my returns for this year are around zero, uh, so I didn't make any money, uh, that because Bitcoin went down, NXT didn't do much, and uh, uh, and gold and silver is still in the slumps. I mean, uh, gold and silver. If gold goes up with ten uh, percent, I mean, the gold gold community is in ex in in uh, euphoria. But uh, I'm looking at this like, when is it going to happen? When? Eh? Uh, the same with the gold mining stocks. It's um, not taking off. Um, so okay. Um, making money uh, via investing is a long-term project. Uh, I had an ama the best year ever uh, last year. Likely, I should have a bad year this year. I don't have any loss, so that's still good. Um, uh, I should have some poor years ahead, uh, yet. Uh, uh, I, I, I really believe that will, will not be the case. Um, Bitcoin, uh, I don't expect poor years ahead, even though they have some issues. Uh, NXT, I do not expect some poor years ahead. Uh, look, the valuation of Bitcoin is 8 billion. Some people find it high, but actually that's nothing at all. Eh? Look at, at the skyline of Miami. Eh? Some guy I met yesterday said that there are 100, 100 skyscrapers. Be, are going to be built over the next years. So what what does that cost one skyscraper? A billion, eh? <laughs> I mean, just here in Miami, uh, in real estate, uh, 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 is valued. Um, uh, uh, I, 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 it's just uh, unbelievable how much value there is on planet Earth, eh? um, and. Um, uh, a lot of that value will go into cryptocurrencies eh? because a lot of real estate eh? is not bought to live in but as an investment eh? because there is no decent money in the world people need cannot keep their money on a bank account because it goes down in value so a lot of assets are bought real estate stocks eh? uh, for long-term holding and so um, uh, decent money will solve that problem eh? um, so Bitcoin, even though it is has certainly vulnerabilities, it is much 
better than the US dollar uh, or the euro and uh, any other fiat currency uh, and any other bank account and any other bond that you would buy or CD that you would buy. Eh? Uh, cryptocurrency is a lot better to preserve your capital and to make it grow. So this will go up at a rapid speed and if you are being bearish today it is the wrong time to be bearish if you want to be bearish do that when it just tenfolded like last year when it went from 100 to 1000 or when it went from first from 10 to 100 then it's time to be bearish for a few months or when it goes from 100 to 1000 then it's time to become bearish for a few months but now when it just corrected from 1000 to 500 for Bitcoin then it's not a time to be bearish you can always find arguments why something will go down you can always find arguments why something will go up but the trick is to see those arguments when nobody else is looking at them and currently a lot of people are looking at arguments why Bitcoin will continue to go down and why NXT will not take off um, so uh, yeah uh, I think the inverse doing the inverse today is a wise thing to do NXT did not give any gains uh, since inception uh, since the past six months the only people that made money on NXT are the initial founders and kudos to them uh, the 72 people that uh, subscribed to the project when uh, the, uh, the founder BC next launched it he kept it open for two months asking Bitcoin people to invest in the project up to maximum one Bitcoin. He, it was for two months possible somewhere at the end of 2013, the middle, uh, and only 72 people were willing to pay money for it to an anonymous person that had a lot of promises and no operational software. I would never do that. Eh? And even uh, when it had, oper and so these people uh, made the right, right bet, and uh, there are a hundred other ways. Uh, at the same time, there were hundreds of other people asking for money, and all those lost money, or almost all of them. So uh, it's not easy to successfully invest in the earliest stages of a project. Um, capital is scarce, and scams are um, uh, everywhere, and so. I really um, totally support that these people that did that uh, became um, millionaires uh, overnight uh, because uh, they earned it. Uh, but I uh, uh, went into NXT uh, when NXT uh, had already gone up from uh, a valuation of almost zero uh, to a value of or 21 bitcoins. That was the first valuation. Eh? He got 21 bitcoins when bitcoins were valued around $500 so he got a total of $10,000 BC next about eh, for uh, the, the originally uh, that was paid for all the coins the 1 billion coins and eh, was valued at $10,000 then in December when it's uh, the project launched and the first software uh, the, and the coins were distributed and the first client was operational uh, the first exchange, uh, which was at the time dhex.com and still operational today, launched trading for NXT, and then the value went up from uh, 10,000 US dollars, uh, actually to already 100,000 before it started trading. But then when it started trading, it went up from 100,000 to a million, and from a million to 30 million. So basically, in only a few weeks' time, it went up. Uh, times thousand something the valuation and um, and so all these initial stakeholders became rich if they held on to their coins because a lot of them started selling immediately uh, a lot of coins the first few weeks about 100 200 million coins were sold via DHEX alone um, so uh, But yes, when the valuation was 1 million uh, US dollars, uh, I saw it for the first time on DHEX and uh, my, my brother uh, actually bought his first coins then and I said that I thought it was overvalued. Um, that was a blunder. 
Hmm. Uh, my um, my arguments at the time were that, well, um, I, even though I saw the client and it was operational, uh, I thought it was overvalued. Um, and the arguments I gave were just, just not correct at all. Uh, what was it again? Uh, I don't remember my arguments anymore, but I'm pretty sure they were false. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. My argument was that I didn't believe in the vision. Uh, that you could de decentralize everything in one client eh? so offer not only coins but also messages and also uh, uh, an exchange and also a Facebook and also an eBay eh? uh, like I thought that would not uh, that's probably would not work out and um, and also the track record was not there uh, of a success or well, even though the client worked it was only just a few weeks old so I thought one million US dollar was too high of a price. So yeah, that was very wrong of me. Uh, but uh, I kept my eye on it and I saw it going up, 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 up. So uh, it went to then, let's say 20, 30 million US dollars. And um, so I missed that gain. But then in the meantime, I also read up about the proof of stake. So the architectural foundation of um, NXT and um, and then uh, I realized that this was really, really, truly uh, innovative. Not only the vision that, okay, the vision, I was still skeptical that they could succeed in that, but uh, I, uh, the software on sich uh, was already uh, uh, much better than Bitcoin. It just the currency system eh, was much more, uh, much stronger, uh, uh, much more difficult to take down by a bad actor. So. Uh, that's what uh, convinced me to start buying but I started buying at the market cap of 30 million currently it's 50 million I made uh, and, and I've bought over the months I bought some some then but I also bought some when the market cap was 80 million eh, or 8 cents a coin uh, but now it's only 5 cents a coin so on average I'm, 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 I'm at zero uh, and a lot of investors actually bought probably in at 8 cents a coin or 10 cents a coin it has been going up to 13 cents a coin eh? So uh, it's less than half of that today. So uh, a lot of NXT investors has actually stepped in since December 2013 or at a loss today. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, just at no profit, no loss. Um, but um, yeah, I can only say uh, do not lose hope. Um, uh, NXT is clearly ignored to that about the Bitcoin community, but they will not be able to do that much longer. Um, it is only the past two months that NXT succeeded in finally uh, reaching that uh, third position in market capitalization um, and uh, leaving behind the competition uh, with a decent margin. Eh? It used to be uh, Peercoin that was third and Ripple that was third and then uh, you had some uh, temporary uh, shoot-ups with Aurora Coin and Dark Coin that all became third. Um, but. Um, uh, and most coin even was uh, before us at the start of the year uh, uh, so uh, but now um, it seems to be that uh, that uh, that the third position is is now for NXT and probably be for a for a few months time but it has already been a few months time now so 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 it, it it's it's hard people can't ignore it anymore in the Bitcoin community and so uh, I think that will push it more into the lime, in the, into the spotlights. That and also uh, I'm gonna throw myself behind this because I, I have nothing else to do than just promote NXT now. Uh, my uh, my um, positions are taken and um, um, that's the most useful I can do. And also I think the most important thing I can do uh, business-wise because um, I'm really not happy with uh, the way, uh, for example, Andreas from uh, Bitcoin Talk, no, from uh, Let's Talk Bitcoin is minimizing the 51% attack problem. I am really, 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 uh, really not impressed by that at all. Um, I think, uh, look, I'm not a technician. Huh? If people start to talk about blocks and all that, I cannot follow. Huh? Uh, so I uh, and so I may be wrong that's true I can be wrong huh? so but I do 
trust my own logic above anything else and if someone can point out my logic that is wrong eh, then I am open to that eh? so the logic is very simple um, the, uh, if you have 51% of the mining power you are the one that will uh, be listened to you are the one that can validate transactions and uh, and say that the other ones are wrong um, so um, and uh, okay you cannot steal coins uh, uh, that's true but you can like not validate transactions and so you can shut down the network if you have 51% of the mining power and you can keep this up as long as you have the 51% of the mining power huh? so please th this would be a disaster if this is true that would be a disaster if you keep it down for one day it's already very bad if you keep it down for one week or a few weeks then the, then, 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 then it will totally collapse the value of Bitcoin huh? uh, imagine that you cannot do any transactions for one day that would be bad but if you cannot do it for a few weeks then it just continues to go down Bitcoin valuation uh, into oblivion and the whole reputation is, is destroyed so uh, Andreas is just minimizing this problem but if this would happen I think actually I, I've been wrong about that I would I think NXT would also take a hit all cryptocurrencies would take a serious hit that's how it is you know people don't say okay oh uh, I Bitcoin failed oh yeah oh uh, so uh, uh, let, 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 let's invest in NXT now. No, uh, they, they just took a serious uh, hit on this whole cryptocurrency affair and they sell everything for fiat. You know? So NXT would also go down. Um, so uh, I think uh, we should be before that, we should make NXT important. If before that it is known in the Bitcoin community before that happens, that actually NXT is not vulnerable to this. Only then will people uh, will be people be prepared and will they buy NXT and sell Bitcoin. But um, if they don't know about it, they will just be uh, they will won't trust any cryptocurrency anymore. Huh? So um, I think it's important to get that that that, that message out. Um, and um, what else? Uh, I'm thinking what else I can say. Um, so I'm giving away free NXT. Uh, so if you're interested in that, you can contact me, send me a personal message eh, because I don't uh, like people sending like 10 emails with requests for free NXT. Uh, that's not going to happen. So uh, I do want to know I, a little bit about you that makes it so that people don't uh, spam me uh, so send me a personal message either to my uh, email or to my Facebook or to my YouTube channel and uh, and I will be happy to send you some by preference to people that have not started out yet with NXT but if you're a poor guy you can send me also requests and I'll be happy to send you some um, I think this is very a very important marketing strategy um, to give away some free NXT uh, I think uh, I'm also thinking of doing something not on a personal level but on a bigger scale to give away free NXT I think uh, that's the, the, the best way to get people started um, that and of course a nice story why it is important um, so What else can I uh, talk about? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave, uh, leave it uh, like this. Oh, of course, I did a lot of interviews, and um, and you should check them out. Uh, they are really good. Um, so first of all, uh, yesterday uh, Sovereign Tech uh, published an interview uh, and uh, actually did, he did a whole show, Brian Sovereign, the host of Sovereign Tech, did a whole show about NXT. He's also a personal friend, a very good friend. Uh, he's together with Stephanie Murphy. Stephanie Murphy is also a very good friend and she works on Let's Talk Bitcoin. 
um, and um, uh, they were both on the show. Steph Stephanie Murphy also uh, is the producer of Sovereign Tech, um, and um, uh, uh, so so we did a show together uh, about NXT, and uh, he has published it yesterday. So just look on your uh, podcast uh, uh, player or uh, or just on the internet or on SoundCloud. Look for uh, Sovereign. Sovereign, eh? VR, I, I, uh, VR, Y, N, Sovereign, uh, Tech, eh? C, H, uh, is a show, and uh, the last show is all about NXT. I think one of the best shows uh, released, uh, uh, one of the best podcasts that has ever been released about NXT. It is two hours long, and the first 15 minutes is about other topics. But um, it's even those uh, are interesting to hear just to get uh, an idea what kind of show it is. And uh, I can really recommend his show uh, because uh, Brian is the first one, actually the only podcast that has talked the past six months about NXT from time to time. Uh, he discovered NXT before me in December 2013, uh, though we were not friends yet then. Uh, but uh, yeah, he... Um, you have so so many noises here because you have so much activity. I'm so impressed of Miami. It's unbelievable. It's really a tropical paradise in combination with a major American city, uh, and uh, it's it's absolutely marvelous. And the women are amazing, uh, amazing. So many beautiful women um, that are looking uh, for a date. Uh, yeah, uh, I love it here. Uh, but um, uh, yeah, uh, so check out Sovereign Tech. Another one um, that did an interview is um, Peace, Love, Liberty Radio. Uh, PLL, uh, look it up on your podcast uh, player uh, from Daryl Perry. Uh, and uh, he also did an interview uh, about NXT. Um, it is at the start of the show, it starts uh, after five minutes, so I think he does a lot of shows, so maybe it's a few shows back, eh? uh, check it out. Um, I'll put in the, in, the, in the show notes on YouTube here, I put in the show notes, I will put uh, the links. Eh? Another one that did an interview is Free Talk Live uh, from uh, Mark Etch and Ian Freeman. Um, and uh, all of these people, by the way, uh, liked hearing about NXT uh, and are in, and I will also send them some free NXT coins. And um, uh, so they did also uh, an interview about Free Talk Live, did also an interview on Porkfest about NXT. Um, I will put the link also in the show notes. That was very short, but it was the first one and uh, it uh, probably uh, will open a lot of doors to other people. Um, and also, uh, very important, Free Talk Life was instrumental in getting the word out about Bitcoin uh, and Porkfest also, by the way, that's why I really liked promoting NXT there. Uh, Porkfest was the first festival where Bitcoin was uh, being used as money uh, and it was somewhere around 2010 or 11. Um, and so, um, uh, uh, but um, a lot of people uh, made the mistake to uh, see the potential of Bitcoin but not invest enough in it. So a lot of people actually miss the Bitcoin train and I notice that a lot of people where, where I talk about NXT, they see immediately that they have a second chance here and this time they will not make the same mistake, they will buy NXT and they will hold on to them. Uh, so that's really uh, great to see, that's why I also really believe NXT is going to happen. Uh, um, uh, another interview I did was with John Bush from Sovereign BTC, also a show on Let's Talk Bitcoin, uh, a great show, uh, one of my favorites, I really like to listen to him, I think he's a very uh, sincere and uh, controver controversial person. By the way, let me tell you about Brian Sovereign and uh, Sovereign Tech, I think he's really uh, a visionary, that's why I like him a lot. He, in the way what he talks about he really sees the big picture and um, he's really uh, intrinsically uh, coming 
came himself to why NXT was really great and uh, he's also following the community from close by and the newsletters and uh, but also on other levels when he talks about business and entrepreneurs and, and, and other and companies he, he's uh, he's really a, a visionary and he also is able to recognize and admit when he was wrong eh? I really like that uh, but John Bush uh, is also a very controversial person uh, an anarchist uh, anarcho-capitalist uh, a voluntarist and um, uh, uh, has great shows uh, Sovereign BTC check it out just subscribe to Let's Talk Bitcoin on your uh, podcast player and then look for the Sovereign BTC shows huh? and one of the next shows he will publish also a great interview about NXT and also uh, he became a personal friend we talked about NXT a lot and uh, he really likes it he really does uh, so um, that's great to hear and um, that's about it um, but uh, I will try to get on uh, a lot of other shows so if you know someone in uh, in the media uh, you know hook me up uh, or uh, do it yourself eh? I don't want to become uh, the big NXT guy I don't like uh, uh, celebrities uh, 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 I, I mean, I don't like um, that some, a currency becomes dependent of certain people. It really needs to be decentralized. And so I would really like to see also others uh, becoming uh, uh, sp uh, speaking heads, uh, promoters of NXT. And, uh, and so uh, uh, if I can help you in a different way, uh, I, would be gladly, uh, I would be glad to do so. Um, so... Yeah. Is there anything else? Well, maybe I can say something about my personal life. I've been living in Belgium um, uh, the past few years. I, I put a lot of time in investing. Uh, uh, so, but now I'm uh, I'm starting to. Uh, get out more and, and travel and uh, uh, and also um, looking for a girlfriend because um, uh, yeah I focused a lot on working and um, I have not uh, succeeded in finding someone uh, but um, I might just have found someone here uh, but that is for the next podcast I hope to see you back again and thank you so much for watching bye